Hey, do you know what marketing activities are performing the best? Or if your marketing efforts are paying off? Tracking and measuring performance is critically important in marketing. Uh, so you can do more of what works and also optimize your initiatives that didn't work. In today's video, I will walk you through how to extract and display marketing data and measure performance with dashboards. We'll look at some essential KPIs uh, you should measure and also how to easily make them available for your team in the CRM system. And these dashboards will save your marketing team valuable time and also help you optimize performance or in other words, get more bang for your buck. And in this demo, I will show you different ways to extract and display marketing data with dashboards in Supervo CRM. We will take a look at typical searches to help you get started quickly, segment and narrow your searches, visualize data in dashboards, and customize charts to fit your needs. Now here we can see the performance of a specific mailing. But what if you want to follow performance, trends, and productivity across all marketing activities? You can search and analyze the performance of your various mailings, forms, and chats by using the selection and find feature. And you then visualize and you track your KPIs via dashboards. Now let's look at find first. In find, you'll see we've added some ready-made searches. So meaning that we've created a set of predefined search criteria to find specific data in the CRM solution. So here you can find mailings. So with a specific click rate or open rate to see which mailings performed above or below your expectations. You can also see forms and chats. So you can gather data and learn, for example, what form performs the best or what chat channel your customers prefer the most. And like all analysis, you need to have an idea of what you're looking for. Uh, but with the find function, it's easy to get started and explore the data available. Let's start by searching for my sent mailings. So here you get some predefined options to help you understand and find what criteria you're needing fast. So when you select a search criteria, you can define it further with these predefined options to fit the criteria, whether it's a list, a date, or a number, etc. So here we have a status. We can add, for example, the subscription type and only select invitations or promotion to narrow the search. And instead of only showing my emails, let's add the sales team for example, and the marketing team. And we want to narrow the search to this year. Select this year. And now we can save this as a selection or a list so that you have it easily available and you can check it later. And it's automatically updated every time we send a new email. So once you've found and saved your data, you can visualize it in lists and charts to see trends and insights into performing metrics important to you. So relevant visualizations are of course available, whether it's uh, better with a list, number, it's a graph, pie chart, and so on. And against a range of dimensions that help you make sense of the data. So here we have charts and we can select, for example, sum of open rate by mailing. And finally, you can create your own dashboard reports to visualize your performance against a number of KPIs in one view to provide you with the up-to-date status at all time with the least amount of effort. And to help you create your own dashboards, you can find included a number of predefined tiles to choose from. So let's go to dashboard. 
So as you can see here, I've made some different dashboards. And this dashboard gives you a complete overview of mailings and form submissions. So what we will do now is add some more tiles to this dashboard. And we will also use the selection that we just made. So we'll go to task and add some new tiles. So the first one we can add is another with form submissions. So this is an overview of all the predefined tiles that we can add, or we can also make our own from scratch. So let's add most popular form over time. We'll add this one and we can stretch it out like so. And we can also add or change the data set and the layout of the tile. So we can go into edit. And for example, I want to see more data. So I want to add all the forms that are still awaiting confirmation by the customer. For example, the double opt-in or hasn't been processed. Like so. And we can also add some tiles for mailings and chat conversations. Let's add for mailings. So here we have some predefined or templates that we can use, or we can use the selection that we made before. Let's go to selections and select mailings this year. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we can change the data set or the layout. Let's make this a column and line chart. We can also add the click through rate. Sum of. Great. And then we can rename it. and save. Click done. So now we've added some more to our original dashboard. So now you can easily track and share the results of your marketing efforts with your organization, as well as analyze and improve your future actions. In short, by using SuperOffice Marketing and the marketing dashboards, you give your teams the tools they need to communicate, capture leads, and engage with your market, as well as the ability to use the performance measurement to constantly improve and do more of what works best and give you the most results.